Welcome, I'm Deborah Dennis. In this video, I'll introduce you to four passive design strategies to achieve maximized indoor environmental quality for user comfort. This is a tiny two bedroom project with a building area of 210 square meters. The first component is biophilia, simply the connection between humans and the natural environment. Naturally, humans possess an inherent inclination to seek connections with nature. Biophilic design increases occupants' connectivity to the natural environment, creating an indoor-outdoor loop. This improves cognitive function, physical health, and psychological well-being. The second component, breeze blocks. The primary purpose of breeze blocks is to allow breeze into the home. They provide a durable sunscreen for shading, filters harsh sunlight, for openness and closure, security, and enhanced air circulation. Breeze blocks fell out as a result of the introduction of air conditions, but they are gradually making a comeback. The resurgence is as a result of low cost and its primary function as an environmentally friendly component. Louvers. Louvers are passive cooling techniques. Louvers, just like breeze blocks, fell out of style. However, using louvers allows for maximized airflow. Studies show that louvers allow as high as 95% of air circulation against sliders which only allow about 45%. Louvers can be regulated manually to control the amount of airflow as opposed to sliding glass windows which is either shut or open. And finally, compressed earth or laterite. The thermal mass of earth delays heat flow through the building, cast your mind back so the clay cooler pots our grandparents would store water in. Always fresh and cool, wasn't it? The same principle applies to compressed earth in construction. The finished walls are typically thick, about 300 to 400 millimeters, and have a sedimentary layered look due to the compaction of materials in layers during the construction process. This can be painted or left in its natural glory. The benefits of compressed earth is it has a superior thermal mass, temperature and noise control, fireproof, low maintenance, and it's eco-friendly. A strong and stable building material suitable for the tropics. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, kindly leave a thumbs up and kindly subscribe. Thank you for watching.